Hey, this is Nick with Fami, and this is a quick unboxing and review for the Motorola Atrix laptop dock. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the box. And the only thing that they have is the AC adapter. Along with the laptop shell. Here we have carrying case and the manual. And that's it. The laptop shell is very thin and light with a full keyboard and trackpad, in addition to an 11.5 inch display. The Atrix can also charge while hooked up to the laptop dock, which has its own battery supply for 8 hours of continuous use before charging again. The smartphone may look similar to other Android devices, but when it is docked into a laptop shell, it transforms into a webtop interface, enabling Firefox in a desktop atmosphere. To use the dock, just flip up the cradle, slide in the phone, which fits tightly, and if you have a protective case like me, uh, this right here is an Amzer TPU case. Um, you can remove the adapter. The webtop app, which is Unix based, multitasks just like any normal computer and constantly runs in the background on the Atrix 4G. So when you plug the phone into the dock, the interface pops up quickly. Here is the battery indicator. Just press the front button here to find out what level it is. Five dots means it's fully charged. And when you close the dock, it turns the display off, but continues charging your phone, which is pretty useful for keeping your phone juiced up. If you receive a call while your phone is docked, it should automatically go to speakerphone mode. There is also an airplane mode, which disables all the wireless connections. And you can double tap this button here to disable the touchpad. Hold the function key to change the brightness and volume settings just like a regular laptop. The outside is made of an aluminum body with a rubberized material covering the back. And on the inside of the dock, we have brushed aluminum, which feels smoother. On the back, we have the power input and dual USB ports. Before we start playing with the dock, just know that I don't want to criticize the interface of the webtop app too much. Since the phone is still running Android 2.2, I hoped 2.3 or Gingerbread would have been launched with the Atrix. So I've already reviewed the Atrix, which was very responsive during testing and they handled the motor blur interface which was kind of bad in the past with no real problems or lag. Okay, here we have the interface of the webtop app. On the left side is the phone. You can interact with it just like you would if you had the phone in your hand, like sending texts and using apps. To the right is the full Firefox web browser. Not sure why they chose Firefox instead of Chrome, but I'm not complaining. This looks like your normal desktop computer, which is a Unix based operating system. Being able to use your phone in full screen is pretty amazing though. And when opening up apps in full screen, it doubles the amount of pixels, much like the iPad does. Now let's try out the web browser. And we will steadily open up more applications to see how bogged down the phone eventually gets. Hulu is playing really choppy right now, um, let's go ahead and try out YouTube. Pricing from AT&T's website shows the Motorola Atrix for $199 with a 2 year contract laptop dock running at $299 after $100 mail-in rebate, and the HD multimedia dock for $129. The multimedia standard package retails for $189 and includes a Bluetooth keyboard, mouse, remote, and the multimedia dock itself. You should note that $299 is the price for the laptop shell when purchasing with the phone as the bundle. And if you were to purchase each of them separately, you would have to fork out $500 for the laptop dock alone. Like I said in my last video, I'm not sure how most people feel about that, since you're pretty much paying an extra $200 if you don't get the bundle early on, in addition to the extra $20 for the required data plan of tethering. Overall, the laptop dock is incredibly light, yet sturdy, which makes it perfect for traveling. The interface isn't as feature rich as your normal laptop would be, and opening up several apps and windows at the same time quickly slows down the phone. Then again, you have to remember this is just a phone which also happens to be the entire core of the laptop shell. So you can't really expect too much from this very new and innovative concept. The interface took a while to get used to, but being able to run a desktop UI from your phone was pretty neat. 
The Motorola Atrix is an amazing phone, currently one of the most powerful on the market today. It has a solid array of specs across the board, and with software updates, like Gingerbread 2.3, it could get even better. I know there have been many complaints in the past about Moto Blur, but the Atrix handles it without a hitch. The only problem with this phone are the accessories, which can make this package kind of expensive for the average consumer. But considering how the Atrix can act as both a smartphone and a laptop at the same time, it might be worth it depending on what kind of user you are. I would have preferred the Atrix to be made with the same materials as the laptop dock. But you can easily remedy the cheap feel of the plastic covering with a high quality case. Tell me what you think about the pricing of the accessories in the comments below. And if you think that Motorola is asking way too much. If you want to know more about the Motorola Atrix, make sure you watch my previous video of the full unboxing and review. And be sure to visit Formula.com for the latest accessories for your device.